At Micromaterials, we specialise in nano indentation, nano scratch, nano impact testing. Uh, we also specialise in nanomechanical testing at uh, non ambient conditions, so, for example, high and low temperature. Uh, in liquids and also in controlled humidity environments. Micromaterials was formed in 1988 by Dr Jim Smith. Jim still works for us and continues to provide the inspiration and technical creativity behind our comprehensive development programmes. Uh, Micromaterials has developed three world firsts and the world's first commercial high temperature stage which is able to achieve maximum temperatures of 800 degrees Celsius. We also developed the first commercial liquid cell which allows the testing of samples fully immersed in a fluid. And we also created the world's first commercial nano impact testing unit. Micromaterials are proud to work with a long established network of global representatives, including in the United States, China, Russia, Korea and India. Close collaboration with customers is a feature of the way we work. Collaborative projects have produced literally hundreds of research papers. Our development projects benefit from being in touch with knowing what people want to do. This results in instruments that do what people want. We spend a lot of time uh, actually visiting our existing customers, getting involved collaboratively working with them and also attending conferences to keep up to date with what the latest trends are and actually to try to stay ahead of the game and ahead of the pack, ahead of our competition. Having people on the ground using those techniques, producing work, really helps us to demonstrate and expand the range of capability. One example of that is being able to do impact testing in liquids, and it's also been one of the major drivers behind the development of the Extreme system. Doing new things in research is important, but it's absolutely essential that we provide an instrument that customers can use efficiently for day-to-day -day routine testing. Our users get the best of both worlds, an instrument that is solid, reliable and dependable, but one that they can use to push the research boundaries should they wish to go in that direction.